Some argue that running a site on the internet can bring you enormous profit. For big sites employing lots of people like YouTube or Facebook, this is definitely true. But let's look at an ordinary webmaster managing a site by himself. We also will omit some shady tricks like purchasing views and trading links. And not because such techniques are unfair or whatever, in fact, they are product of search engines' idiotic algorithms to rank websites in the search results. The problem is, a site that partake in that shady business will be banned sooner or later and will cease to generate profit at all, meaning all your effort was in vain. So the main source of income for an average site is advertising partnership program, mostly with Google and to a lesser extent with Bing or the local search engine if it's popular enough in the given country. The majority of sites worldwide are members of Google AdSense advertising program, so let's give it a closer look. Google mostly pays per click. That means that the visitor to your site must not only see the ad, but also show interest by clicking it. Earnings per click vary, but it's safe to say they range from 20 to 30 cents on average. YouTube ads produce even less and normally range between 4 and 8 cents per click. Statistically, ads are clicked by something like 2 or 3% of your total visitors. That means that every thousand of unique views will bring you around a dollar and a half. Fair promotion to get a thousand views a day will require at least half a year of daily long hours with sleep your only rest. And all this time you will have to constantly create unique, fresh, original and interesting content that is right in posts and articles, shooting photos and videos. That's not all. Google minimum payout is $100. That means your account must earn at least $100 for you to get a payment. That means that if you want to get paid every month, your site must earn more than $3.5 a day. And that is over 3,000 of unique views per day, every day. And you only will get a mere $100 for that, out of which you have to shell out at least $2 for hosting and more than a dollar for a domain name each month. And of course, you have to pay your internet and electricity bills and also buy some remedy to treat your frightened hemorrhoid. In practice, the absolute maximum a solitary webmaster can earn is 700 bucks, and that will be reduced even less by taxes. To earn that, you'll be working 24 hours a day without day offs, weekends, sick leaves or any other paid leaves. You're the boss. Well, aspiring blogger shouldn't think about all this too much, since by all odds it will make him a year to get his first payment of only $100. So who is making a big buck on all this stuff? Well, the obvious answer is Google does, but even more than you may think of. The thing is, Google gets money from advertisers before the campaign has started. And while you are blogging your ass off to get the first payment, Google is investing and reinvesting the money you already nominally earned. Most banks offer a service called cash management to their corporate clients. That is essentially taking every free penny on the accounts to a whirlwind of short-term deposits, repo trades and that kind of stuff with modest profit in percents but massive in currency when you're dealing with huge volumes, which Google certainly does. So that's how you make real money on the internet.